What's up, Dice Crew? We got Sharp talking about how Adam-22 never really liked his and Brick Baby's relationship. Let's tune in. I'm going to keep you the Benji for y'all doing the reaction. Y'all keep you the Benji for me in the comments. Shout out to the Dice Crew. Let's rock. He's so mad about Brick hanging out. We like, bro, he been not one Brick to fuck with me. I'm glad to hear, like, the truth. Like, because he been like that. That's why he, they been doing that shit in the company. They make sure me and that nigga don't do a lot together. But the things that me and Brick have done together have done numbers. But they make sure, like, yeah, nah, y'all ain't about to be doing none of that shit. And matter of fact, nigga, that's why they been keeping Brick hella late over in that motherfucker through streams, all that type of shit. Brick can hit me and be like, man, this thing's gonna have me up here all day. Nigga, it's 11.45. Me and them about to do top ops. They was doing it on purpose, trying to drain the nigga. Like, man, he's like sharp. Like, this shit's crazy, homie. We just, let's do something tomorrow, whatever. I, I never even pressed the issue. But I did notice, like, the move. Like I said, I want to do a late night show up over there, dog. They said there's not people that can run the motherfucking stream. Can't run the stream at night. Nobody's going to stay there. But nigga, you running the fucking music streams. Nobody even gives a fuck about you. You just run them because they paid for them, dog. Stream ain't going to make no money because you playing other people's music. Like, come on, my nigga. Like, stop, gang. Let's stop the bullshit. I've been seeing the narrative, homie. He even said it. He was like, I don't know why Brick's still been cool with him. Like, I don't get it. The nigga don't want me around. That's why every time he say something about me in front of Brick, he look dead at Brick. Like, say something. I just want to see if you're going to rebuttal it. Like, you got something to say about it? Like, he's looking for it. I ain't stupid. I seen this shit. Nigga, when we was having the panels, it was cracking. Even when the channel was in a fucked up state, shit, we still doing 100,000. Give or take. I been told him, let me, hey, let me get a, uh, he say there's no recollection of, oh, Sharp never said he wanted to do anything on the channel, like, as I have him having, like, you know, a live podcast or anything. Nigga, I been brought that idea, but like I said, bro, you don't really be a part of it because it's not you. You don't really run that show over there, my nigga. You more worried about being the talent. You're not worried about being a company owner and running the company and what can make the company work. Like, hey, man, whoever needs some help, hey, I got y'all here for a reason. Let's do it. Nah, bruh. He's just like us. Like I said, he's not doing he, Somebody else runs that shit. He's just there as a talent himself. He don't give a fuck. He don't have no ideas, no structure, and nothing. If that was the case, and we knew everybody been waiting on a 20 v one from Sharp, right? Everybody been waiting for one. Back when this was new, why didn't we do one on the channel? Hell, I even brought the idea. Why not? This ain't about friendships or who likes who, nigga. It's about making some bread. Because you're going to make money as I make money. But I don't think it was about that no more. It's not. A, it wasn't about that no more, chat. It's not about making bread. He's off his... He, that's why I said he's about it. Talent in himself, shit. He's just there for the relationships. That's why he don't do business with nobody. He lets other people in the company do it because he just wants to be cool with you. That's it. That's how he moves. He don't deal with none of that to disrespect me. It's crazy, like nigga. To take from what I done did, nigga, for that company, dog, and like try to throw it down the toilet, acting like nigga, I'm just some fucking peon. It's crazy, homie. That shit's disrespectful. At the max, buster activity. That's all our fault, though. I sound stupid for even saying anything, to be honest. Because we thought this white boy was even going to understand even half of it. That's That was my delusion. That was real delusion, my nigga. That's delusion at its finest. If I now, I'm going to give Sharp some points for taking accountability. However, it's like, come on, Sharp. Like... I'm really not really feeling this energy from Sharp. Like, I expect better from Sharp. And it's like, Sharp, how long are you going to drag this on? And how long are you going to keep making these complaints? Like, you talking about he treating you like a peon and threw it all down the drain and that's no respect. It's like, are you looking for business? Are you looking for respect? Because sometimes you just can't get both. Y'all did y'all business. Y'all had a fair and exchange, a fair exchange. Whatever you got out the deal, whatever they got out the deal, that was y'all business. You did business. You're not complaining about the business, so why not just settle and be okay for doing the business? You weren't about a person giving you attaboys, accolades, and pats on the back when that's not the case at hand. Move forward. 
not knocking you on the content side of like stretching this situation out for your viewers and your audience and stuff like that like it makes sense i get it on that end you know but you know you kind of putting a little bit of like you know a little drizzle a little sprinkle a little water on your campaign because you kind of watering yourself down the way you making it seem like you very hurt you know like i understand you might be not feeling it but i mean look what happened with house phone look what happened with ad look how adam ben operate i'm just really kind of surprised that you acting like you surprised sharp unless you're not really surprised you just kind of carrying on for the camera but i mean if he don't run around there bragging and giving nobody else flowers and they played big parts just as you just like you sharp if not bigger and he don't even get them all in flowers like that so who you thought like he was gonna do with you i don't know man it could be just me or whatever but i'm just like i'm not really feeling this energy from sharp you know i want him to carry himself a little bit different but if it's working for him on the content side then hey i even thought for even one second that this white boy could even conform to even understand half of what we got going on he just plays like he and you know i was gonna let it fly when he said it the first time but he said it again but y'all already know how i stand when it comes to all the whole racism and all that like you know just not trying to say like he being racist but just to start referring to him as a white boy it's like he wasn't a white boy last week man you know that was adam you know now you got to fall out now he's the white guy he's white this 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 and that now we making it seem like all white people gonna operate the way adam operate it's a lot of white people who understand this culture or understand people very well and that's why they able to run these labels and all these brands and all these things and know how to target and market it these are our, our, our communities because they understand very well some of them understand us more than we understand ourselves because we can't necessarily you know succeed off of our culture the way some of them have had have are doing so it's like that's a lot of like emotion coming from sharp i don't want him to really operate with all this emotion like that but let's continue that's good he don't know from gang members to pimps to drug dealers to fucking niggas that done killed nigga when did drills he don't understand he just platforms it because he knows it gets views he don't know nothing my nigga he ain't never lived not even half of this shit We've allowed that to happen. Adam's, a, listen, it's not about Adam. Be, Adam's too grown to do anything. Adam is a child. He, this is child's play. This is a nigga that wants his basketball back, and he knows a nigga, he's got the only one nigga at the motherfucking court right now. He don't like when other people hoop better than him. That's when he takes his basketball and goes home. He ruins the game. He knows I'm telling the truth. He probably ain't never heard it like that before, but he's he was that type of nigga when we was coming up. Because he ain't getting the basketball enough. He don't like that. He's got to be the star and try to project that shit on me. Like, oh, well, Sharp's just mad. Nobody's doing nothing for him. Like, nah, nigga, it ain't about that, bro. It's about taking a, a sh Listen, homie, I try to make the best stand I possibly can. If I'm making money, my nigga, it's making the company money. I don't look at it as, oh, it's just doing something for me. I don't even play like that. I want to see everybody shine. He can't say that about me when I done brought countless people that done worked in the building onto the shit I'm doing. How am I hating or trying to be all about me? Don't even make no sense. I try to show everybody love. Everybody who's ever worked in that building done sat down with me on camera and done did some extreme and some cold work with me. So I don't want to hear none of that bullshit, bro. This nigga was intimidated by me. And I wasn't even sitting there trying to even move like that. That shit was jealousy, my nigga. All I tried to do was make the company better. That's all I tried to do. What did I do wrong? It's easier to believe these bitches, and it's easier to believe all the drag when you already didn't fuck with a nigga, bro. That's why you over here saying that shit. That's why you believe all that shit these bitches say, because you don't fuck with me. If me and you was even cool or even somewhat cool, he'd be like, hell no. Nah. Nigga, you said the only reason you ain't say nothing because you was trying to spare me. That's a bitch-ass shit, bro. 
I wanted to become something better than just that. I didn't want to just have that stigma, my nigga. And I think I've worked my ass off to not have that stigma. So just to even see that I had it anyway, no matter what, just because that's how I was a low count to that nigga from the beginning. Only thing was I made a lot of money. That was the only difference. And I think uh, when people bring up certain situations, like I say, like the low cow situation, obviously that bothered me for that to be said. That's being a real man. But I noticed there's a lot of shit that I bothered him. I bothered him about that he'll speak on a lot, you know, and um, he never just says like genuinely like damn dog that bothered him. The shit that we'll bring up is like the most is the shit that bothers us the most. To say that you only wanted me on that fucking cypher so you can have me laughed at was crazy. I'm glad I didn't do it. Be honest with y'all, chat. Like, I'm glad I didn't do it because he let it be known. His intentions of me being on the, the cypher was nothing pure or good. Sipping out my cup or playing games on camera, you sipping out of a championship your ass don't even fucking deserve. You didn't even want to play for your school at one point in time, nigga, for your college. You was about to cop out, nigga, shut the whole college down. Couldn't take the heat in the kitchen. Didn't even want to be on your own channel. It's how bad they were slandering you. Now you try to sit there and talk bad about me, dog. Like, I'm going to be honest with you. You deserve to get slapped in your mouth. Just to even hear you say that, gang. Oh, you should have. You know what? Your best bet would have been if anything that I said, hey, you know what, Sharp? We appreciate you. You want to come make the content on the channel? You do what you do. You should have left the door open. You closed it, my nigga. And all I did was leave it cracked, but I knew you was going to shut it. You was waiting for that, bro. That's why you going back months ago. You like, man, I've been not fuck this nigga. But he makes so much money, and he's been doing a lot of things for the channel, homie. Let's be honest. Who done made more than me under you, Adam? You'll never talk about that, bro. You'll never put nobody name to it. You just look for notoriety when you sit around the table, homie. And the people that he left me with, nigga, you left me to work with some fucked up shit, bro. Now my content comes out whenever it does. Now it's got no set day, no set time shit. Y'all move me around, don't even have the conversation with me, dog. You done blew sponsorships for me. You done did all types of weird shit behind the scenes that I never spoke about, gang. Now, see, if all that was going on behind the scene, then that's when Sharp should have started making some changes right then and there. You know, he should have started making some big changes behind the scenes. He should have started like, okay, I see the vibe. Excuse me. I feel the vibe. I see what's going on. I got to start preparing for things because it's starting to look kind of awkward around here. And like, come on, man. Like, I think Sharp is pretty much upset because he wished he was in more of a, like, he was kind of elevating right now. You know, right now, it's like he's not necessarily in a position to where he just went from no jumper to something that could be more, um, uh, something more successful or on the same level of no jumper with, you know, the same success, however it go. Right now, he really don't know what's in store for him that's how i feel like i feel like he don't necessarily know how long or how well he's going to really do with this content game so therefore i think he's kind of like upset you know what i mean like because i feel like if he had everything figured out more i don't think he'd be this upset but he should have took all that stuff that's going on behind the scenes and start like, okay, I'm finna start making the best of this stuff and I'm finna capitalize more. I think he was just hoping that it didn't come to what it actually come to. And that's this whole fallout. Let's be fucking real. If I would have kept him out of fucking no jumper, my nigga, I would have never had none of them fucking problems. Sushi never fucked with you. Man, let's stop playing, homie. A lot of shit I put up with I never said, my nigga. Because I always try to see it from both sides. So to act like you couldn't talk to me about that nigga's fucking preposterous. Got me fucked up, nigga. You playing them little petty ass games, especially with them bitches, nigga. You trash. Hey, you know what's so cold, gang? It's because God don't like ugly, nigga. And he gonna see you about something, nigga. I promise you for God, bruh. You escaped it at one time, nigga, because you know what? I was really the angel, nigga, that was really there to keep that company going. Because your ass was about to get ready to fold. Me and a few others. 
This nigga was full, nigga. We was the, in the angels to that motherfucker, homie. At his time in despair. I'm gonna give Sharp his credit. Like, yeah, Sharp was definitely one of the pillars over there at No Jumper at one point. I'm gonna give him his points. However, it's like, that's something to me, I don't think Adam cares about. You know, I don't think he really cares about that. Because for him, I think it's all about the momentarily thing. Like, just next, like, he gonna get rid of Brick Baby or whatever gonna be when it's time, you know? When the time suits itself, he gonna get away from Brick Baby. He gonna probably get away from Flacco. Just being honest. And then the only reason why he might not get get rid of Flacco is because he might feel like like a content battle between him and Flacco might not be as as good. But you know, if he started getting into it with Sharp, look how good it's been. If he got, he got into it with AD and T Rail and them, look how well that's been going. Then Brick Baby, I could see him and Brick Baby having a content war a war, and that's you know gonna be entertaining. Flock, on the other hand, maybe, maybe not. You know what I mean? Ain't no telling. But the moment that it's like when Adam see that it's going to be better to, you know, eat off of you instead of eat with you, that's the choice he's going to make. And that's just the words and the terminology that I'm using. And that's just one of the ways how I view it. But who knows? Ain't no telling what's in Adam's mind. But now you ain't gonna have that, gang. And I promise you for God, dog, everybody already see how you move it. You would have kept it more fun with the music, even though I know you niggas was already mentioning me and shit. I just got one up on you and did the shit I was supposed to do. Straight up. That's all I did was just do the shit I was supposed to do. I got a hand in the situation. I already knew you niggas was gonna say something else. I mean, y'all kept playing with me. You're playing with my cup. You're doing a little weird ass shit. But then you get mad and talk about, well, why is he? All we did was this, nigga. Yeah, that's a lot, nigga. So what? We own this shit, nigga. And we tripping. So what? Now what? And then don't stop there. We called out a musical guru. This nigga's supposed to be the right thing we mentioned, Lush, like that. That's supposed to be your go-to, nigga. He's supposed to have a track, nigga, cut already, ready to go, armed and ready, nigga. Yeah, right. Nothing. And when he cuts it, this shit gonna sound like some fucking backpack rap, nigga. Lush, you know I'm telling the truth, gang. You better off writing a verse and giving it to the next nigga that got some spunk in the trunk. I would've made a move with him. It didn't make no sense, and them niggas knew that. Nobody wants to see your face. Mike is a f about you. We never did. We use your platform. And you use us, too. That's why I say we're all at fault here. He ain't no culture vulture in just in that sense. He culture vultured him. We allowed him to do it. 140 interviews. 140, chat. I think about how much I could have put to my own channel at the time. Like, for this nigga not to even consider that. Like, Shark could have been putting shit on his channel. My channel could have been growing. From all the interviews I ever did. Hell, even when I called out Kelpie, this shit did fuck damn near 300. And I had nothing going on on my channel. I fucked up being at No Jumper longer than I should have been. I could have been in the Andrew Tay status. I could have been, like, on my own. But, like, I let them make this their own narrative. That mysteriousness about me faded because they start to know me. You just start to be around you. And I still didn't show them shit. To be real, I really didn't. That's why he talks crazy and out the side of his fucking neck. Adam never bought me. I bought myself there. I made a lot of money in a short amount of time. You gotta remember, I was a nigga he used to tweet about, like, when Andrew Tate first got locked up, he was like, man, I'm about to send Sharp to Romania to free Andrew Tate. Nigga, because I was that, I'm that nigga. I'm always gonna be that nigga. I just stopped giving it to the channel, my nigga. Like, the channel just didn't feel pure no more. I'm not even wanting to even be me, bro. Like, it's just starting to feel like stone around there. It's just cold. It's not nothing. It's, it's nothing. In one hand, you have nothing. In one other hand, you have nothing. You put them together, what do you got? Like, it just start to become nothing. I started noticing, like, the first basketball that ever got signed, and there's a whole bunch of basketballs that sit along the wall, right? First person I ever had, the first person that ever signed a basketball in that building was because of me, and it was DJ Quick. 
I thought it was going to be dope after that. Like, nigga, y'all just start letting anybody sign that mother. I said, oh, okay, shit. He ain't even West Coast artists on that buff. It's people from fucking everywhere, like, on some weird shit and passing. Like, nigga, like, tagging, like, shit. And just, he don't even know what the fuck name it is on there. You don't even know what name it is on there. Nigga, you got a whole bunch of, like, and there's a couple niggas on there I know. And I, I, I get some respect to, all right, cool. But, like, a lot of them, it's like, who the fuck is this? You got this nigga security guard, the nigga he was with signed it. Like, what the fuck on? Oh, there was, there's no exclusivity up there, homie. Go look at them basketballs. There ain't no reaching. Go look at them mugs and see if you notice half the names on that mother.